Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Chaney Live coming back at y'all with another vlog again today. All right, check it. All right, I want to talk to y'all about positive attitudes, man. I want to talk to y'all about positive attitudes, man. Check it. Let me adjust this joint. I'm bending down a little bit too much. Yeah. All right, man, look, I don't care what you want to do in your life. I don't care what your plans are. I don't care if you don't have any plans at all. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you don't have no plans. I don't care. I, don't, I just don't care about none of that. But what I will tell you is this, man, you got to be positive, man. You got to have a positive attitude in everything you do. You have to have a positive attitude towards the people around you just got to be a positive person all right yes we all go through situations we all experience different trials and tribulations we all hit bumps in the road um, we all have different things that may transpire throughout our day that could kind of trigger negative thinking negative attitude things of that nature but uh, at the end of the day man make sure I adjust this giant I don't want to be too that. All right. So anyway, at the end of the day, man, you have to you have to come up with a, a self program that that will allow you to maintain a positive attitude. Okay. Um, it is very important for anything you want to do or for wherever for anywhere you want to go. Okay, that you have that you incorporate positive thinking. Okay. Now, with that being said, a lot of people say, okay, well, what if this happened? What if my dog die? What if my, you know, what if I get, what if somebody, one of my loved ones gets sick? Things of that nature. All right. Regardless, man, situations are going to happen. So you have to find out your way of maintaining a positive attitude. Like a lot of people will, they will, um, some people meditate, you know what I'm saying? They meditate. They try to filter that negative energy and they try to t can turn it into something else. I meditate sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Meditation is good. It gives you a chance to reflect on some of those ideas and problems and it also gives you solutions. Like if you meditate and if you if you clear your, your mind out, you know, you can get information from the universe. You know what I mean? And you can get the ideas, you know, it'll help with problem solving. You know what I'm saying? Like you will compute uh, tactics and, and, and ideas, okay, that you can use to address, eliminate, and correct some of these issues that are affecting you. You know what I mean? Uh, some people aren't mourning people. You know what I mean? Like I'm not a mourning person per se, you know. I don't mind getting up in the morning. If it's money to be made, I don't mind getting up. But something that I used to do to prepare myself mentally for work is I used to say affirmations. Okay? So what I would do, and this is this this goes back to a time where I was doing I was doing sales, you know what I'm saying? Um and I wanted to be great at it. I just didn't know quite how. I mean, I was good, but I wanted to be great. Like when I say great, I wanted to be the best. Like I wanted to be number one. Okay. And the thing that made me go from just the average person to number one was these affirmations that I told myself every morning. Okay. So what I did was I picked two motivational songs, two songs. That when I listened to it, it made me feel like, mm, I'm going to kill him in the morning. You know what I mean? You need two songs, right? At least, I don't know what your commute is to work, but my commute to work at this particular time I'm referring to, it probably was a 30-minute run. You know what I'm saying? It probably took me 30 minutes to get to work. So I had two songs that was just the most, these songs just, just made me crunk. 
Like these songs were stuck in my head when I got to work. So when I started working, when I started hustling, I could hear this music in the background. I don't care if it's I the Tiger. Like if you think about it, you know, look at like Rocky and look at how these songs, even in in in, in movies, how these songs like yo he's gonna kill it you know what i'm saying like yeah it's a lot of negative music out there but if the net even if the music got is negative if if it's if it's i don't care what it is i don't care if it's some gangsta gangster music if it make you fired up and if it make you feel confident and make you feel strong and it make you feel excited and it make you feel motivated that's a good type of song to pick but i had two songs so if it took me 30 minutes to get to work right i knew for the last 10 minutes of that 30 minutes i need to be playing song number one and song number two song number one was like a it was a winding up. It was a warm up song. It was getting me in a certain. It was getting me in a certain zone. But by the time song number two came on, I mean, I'm like, I'm going like, I'm driving fast. Like I'm ready to destroy this thing, man. I'm crazy. Okay, when song two come on. Now, before I even played the song. Like I told you, the last 10 minutes was for song one and song two. The first 20 minutes of my commute was affirmations. So this is what I would say. I would say my name. I would say I, my name is, and you say your name. And then I would say I am young, talented, and successful. I get over... 30 sales a day. I make over $200,000 a year. And I am the number one, whatever your position is, in whatever your company is. Okay? That's what I would say. Now, when I said I would get 30 sales a day this was in an environment where your goal for every day was like five freaking deals okay so if you it sound crazy all right if the average person is getting five freaking deals in a day imagine how crazy it sound for somebody to say i get 30 deals in a day so the reason why it took 20 minutes is because these affirmations were beyond what was just beyond what the mind could imagine you know i was i was chanting levels that were unheard of that people never seen before okay if if it's common to get if you if you doing good with five if that means that you are above average with just five I'm sitting here saying I get over 30 I didn't say I want over 30 I said I get over 30 deals a day now the first time you say that it's gonna sound real crazy bro you gonna be like I get over uh, 30 deals a day that's how you gonna be thinking then you say it again, and then you're going to be like, 30 deals a day. And you say it again, and you, when you get to that part, it's going to be like, 30 deals a day. And then it's going to get a little better. You're going to say it again, and it's going to be like, 30 deals a day. Then you're going, it's going to get a little better. You're going to be like, 30 deals a day. Then it's going to get a little better, and it's going to be like, 30 deals a day. Then it's going to get a little better. And by the time you get to like, after you just said it like 30 times, you're going to be like, 30 deals a day and it's going to be it's going to be implanted in your heart and it's going to be implanted in your mind and i'm gonna tell you something once that happens you may not get 30 that first day and you may not get 30 you may get it went i'm telling you i went from five to ten in like a month 
I'm like, all right, I'm rocking. I'm doing 10 a day. So people are already like, oh, 10 a day. Good job. You're doing great. Okay. Kept saying it. Boom. 30. 30 a day. Boom. Every day. On my way to work. 30 a day. I'm young, talented, successful. I get over 30 a day. Every daggone day. Then it went to 20. So people just like, whoa, slow down. What are you doing? 20. This is incredible. This is unheard of. It wasn't unheard of. I heard it every day. It was unheard of to the people that wasn't hearing it every day. But when you hear it every day, it's not unheard of. It actually becomes to be a common concept. You dig what I'm saying? So I kept saying it. I kept saying it. Man, I bullcrap you not. I got to a point where I was rocking 50 freaking thing joints in a day. 50 joints in a day. It's, it's, it's incredible. Like my manager, when he would hand out checks, he would get to mine like, ooh, this bad boy heavy. Bam! Get it, get, this is this check right here. If y'all check not heavy like this, he was like, mmm, giving me my check. I'm telling you, bro. Plant the seeds in your mind, bro. It, and that's just one idea. Think of it, think of it, anything you want. Anything you want, man. All you got to do is plant the seed. This goes back when I say positive thinking. You could just you could just do that with just changing your concept. Like sometimes you may wake up, you may have a bad dream or you may have a bad day the day before and you may wake up kind of not feeling so good. You can plant those same, you can plant positive um, affirmations in your mind to even change that. You know what I'm saying? You could be like, it's a beautiful day. Like, and you'd be like, it's not beautiful at all. You know, in reality, you like, it's dark, gloomy, ugly, wet, rainy, icy. And all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? It, you can do it so much. I got to the point where I did it so much that I was happy. I was like, yes, it's raining. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. Oh, man, I love it when it rains. I love rainy days, bro. Yeah, man. Let's love rainy days, bro. But you got to program your thinking, man. Your mind is a freaking... Is, is, the things that your mind can do, it can do stuff you don't even know it can do. But you got to program that joint. And the things that's unheard of, like, this is insane. This is unheard of. If you hear it, you may be the one to have to say it, but if you hear it, it's not unheard of. That means it, it can be achieved. Whatever you want to achieve, man. So look, man. I ain't gonna keep y'all. This is my this is my this is my uh demonstration of positive thinking. It is real. I lived it. And let me tell you something, I don't just be making up this stuff. Y'all like this man, y'all like this little fool, he crazy. I ain't crazy, bro. I'm telling you some real stuff man if you have trouble getting your mind to 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 believe something or getting your mind and 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 your spirit and your heart and your body in a certain mindset or a certain feeling okay then speak it into existence man and guess what People tell you to do that all the time. And when you say it, you're like, I don't feel it. It's just coming out of my mouth, but nothing's happening. You got to keep saying it. You have to keep saying it. It's make up your mind to say it a hundred times. And I promise you, by the time you get to that hundred time, you will really feel and believe what is coming out of your mouth, man. That's how you control your attitude. That's how you control the positive 
the negative people that say stuff like, "Oh, I'm so ugly." You going that? You gonna be just that? If you feel if you feel you're not attractive, start saying you're beautiful and watch what happens. Say it a hundred times every day. Watch what happens. You gonna be beautiful as hell. You gonna be beautiful. Your walk gonna change. Like I'm telling you, after I said 30 a day, I was walking in work like. Before I said 30 a day, I was walking in work like this. Let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. 2019. It's on, man. It's on. This your boy Chaney Live. It's been a pleasure. I love y'all, man. I enjoy vlogging with y'all. Please, man, don't take the don't, don't take the information for granted. These seeds are genuine, man. And uh, you know, just just man, let's do it, man. This is not a joke. This is all real life information, bro. Let's get it. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of uh, this channel please subscribe and I will catch you on the next vlog out